Okay, so uh, you just watched the vinegar lab, and uh, now what you have to do is uh, uh, you have to show me the results of it. And well, let's go over the calculations and um, what you're going to do with the results. Uh, I'm going to ask you that to uh, oh, you need to send me uh, the t the two tables that that are, that's, that are going to be in this. Um, uh, in this uh, in this video um, and also there'll be a short quiz related to uh, to the experiment as well uh, so okay. um, and, so what uh, we did so we, in this started. experiment what it uses is it used a uh, so this experiment used sorry I'm trying to get this to work for me all right uh, it's something called titration and it's a method of determined concentration of a dissolved substance in terms of the smallest amount of reagent of known concentration required to bring about given effect in reaction with known volume of test solution blah 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 okay um this is, i got this from i forget where uh but um the idea is this is, is that you're given a known um s sample and you're given an unknown sample and you're going to use the known sample and its relation with the unknown sample to figure out uh the amount of the unknown s solution uh sample and so what we're going to do basically is uh find the moles of the unknown from the moles of the known uh and what we're going to use is the fact that one mole of khp will neutralize one mole of nah okay so khp is an acid it's potassium uh well it's it's got this long name which you'll see in the video um and uh so basically it's going to be one the stoichiometry is one k hp plus one naoh okay and i we're not going to worry about the product, okay? But the stoichiometry is a one-to-one -one ratio, okay? So if you know the amount of KHP that you're using in our experiment, you automatically know the amount of NaOH when the overall solution becomes uh, neutralized. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out with a, um, in the first, well, in both experiments, you're going to start out with uh you're gonna have a uh in one container you're gonna have an acid in the first experiment would be khp and um and to it you're gonna add uh a um indicator uh ph indicator a phenylethylene okay uh and this this solution will be clear and then what you're going to do is add NaOH to this, okay? And then what happens is when uh, all the NaOH reacts with the KHP to ch to neutralize this acid, this will change to pink. At that point, you know you have the exact the amount of NaOH is equal to the amount of KHP. So the first experiment, you're going to know the amount of KHP. You're going to do the titration, and then you're going to figure out the amount of NaOH. Okay. Now, in a second experiment, you're going to take the NaOH that you know. Okay, in this case, you know the NaOH. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add it to uh, uh, an acid, um, acetic acid. And you don't know how much there is of it. Okay, but again, there's a one-to-one -one ratio, All right? And what you're going to do is again, you're going to have you're going to have a container with the acetic acid. It's going to be a clear solution, and you're going to have phenylphthalein in it. All right, and then you're going to add the NaOH to it, and when it turns pink, that means the amount of NaOH is equal to the amount of acetic acid. Now, if you know the NOAOH, you know the amount of acetic acid. Okay. 
Right, so the first experiment you're going to figure out the amount of NaOH. And the second experiment you're going to use that to figure out the amount of acetic so acid. So the first experiment okay, so is to find out to find the amount of NaOH. And you saw the experiment. You saw what I did. And you saw how it went. And uh, so what you what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to record all the data, and I'll show you where to put that in a table. But let's go over an, let's go over a, uh, an example, maybe how I mean go that's uh, an example. Um, and so let's say I added uh, 3.4 mils of now this is just an example. This is not what was done in the um, in the actual lab. You're, this is just to give you an example of how to go about setting up and writing what you need to write up, okay, for the experiment. Okay, so uh, so I took 3.4, uh, 50% NOH, and I added about 50 mils of uh, distilled water. Um, and what I want to do is find the actual concentration of this, okay. So I said about here and about here. So th I don't know what the actual concentration is. Remember, our concentration is going to be in moles per liter. Okay, 50% means uh, there's for every uh, 100 grams of uh, solution, there's 50 grams of sodium hydroxide. Uh, and it's and the person that made up the solution just kind of eyeballed that. So what we want to do is actually figure out how much, what is the concentration of NaOH. So this is what we want to find out. Okay, remember brackets mean it's concentration. Okay, so first thing we did is we measured, I measured out, um, uh, it says to measure out between 0.4 and 0.5 grams, and let's say I measure out 0.5 grams of KHV. And I'm using that to do this calculation. So what the first thing I want to do is find out how many moles of KHB. Okay, because uh, in the long run, the amount of moles of KHP is going to equal the amount, amount of moles of NaOH. Okay, so, uh, so, but, uh, so, okay. So to figure out um, moles, okay, remember moles is equal to molar mass, and to figure out um, moles, you divide by the molar mass, okay? And the molar mass of KHP is 204.22 grams per mole, okay? And uh, the amount of moles is 0 0.00245 moles. Right, so I'm going to set that aside for right now. Okay, next thing I did is I did an experiment, and uh, I added the NaOH to the KHP until it turned pink. Okay, my initial amount, uh, now this, again, this is my example. It's not the example of the actual lab. Let's say my example started out at 0 0.31 mils in the barrette. And after it turned pink, there was 40.61 mils. So we want to find out the total volume. So what you do to figure out total volume, you take uh, final volume, subtract initial volume, and that'll give you the volume you added. So it's 40.61 minus uh, 0.31, and that's 40.30 milliliters, but needed in liters because, remember, molarity is in moles per liter. So divide by 1,000. Okay, so um, now we're going to use the relationship between moles and molarity. So moles is equal to molarity to vol times volume. Okay, so the moles of NaOH is equal to the molarity times volume. So molarity is moles per liter, volume is liters, and so when you multiply them, you end up with moles. Okay, so we know the moles, which is going to be this value up here, and we know the volume, which is this here, and from those two, we can figure out the uh, the molarity, okay. So uh, the amount of moles is equal to KHP. We took one mole uh, to neutralize one mole. So I know the amount of moles of NaOH is 0.00245, and the volume is 0.0401. So molarity 
okay, when you rearrange this equation, uh, molarity is going to be uh, moles divided by volume. And so you get 0 0.00245 moles divided by 0 0.04030 liters. And you get the uh, concentration of the NaOH is 0 0.061. Uh, in the, at the end, do you only have two sig figs? Okay. And why is that? Because of this value here and other values that just have two. Okay. All right. Uh, now, uh, you're, you actually do, in the lab, I did this three times, okay? So, uh, so you're going to do this, ca this calculation three times. So let's, let's look how, you, how we set up the table, and let's see how you're going to, what I'm going to want from you uh, with this. So here is, if I just did my sample, this is how I'd set it up. I'd have initial volume, my final volume, the total added, changed, that's in mils, changed to liters, the grams of KHP, the moles of KHP using the molar mass, okay, um, the moles of uh, NaH, they're equal, and then this value here is going to be this divided by this. And so you need this. Okay, for you, what you want to do is you're going to fill in a table like this. And so you're going to have three of each, okay? And then you're going to have uh, final, three final molarities. Then you're going to add all three of these up and divide by three to come up with your average NaOH. And this is the value that you will use in the next set of experiments. Okay, so this is part one. This is what I'm going to want from you. Okay, all right, part two. All right, now what we will now once we figured out the concentration of a sodium hydroxide, I, um, we can figure out the amount of acetic acid, and I showed you that why that is. Uh, at the beginning. So uh, again, this is my example that I'm just making this up, but it should be pretty close to what you guys actually get. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do, go about doing the calculations and set up the table. So uh, so what we're going to do is titrate 4.0 4 grams of vinegar with our known concentration of NaOH to figure out uh, how many grams of this vinegar is the is the acetic acid? Okay. Um, so what we did is we took the four grams and we put it in uh, about fifty. So we got this is an exact value we measured. Okay, and we put it in, in about fifty mils. And it doesn't matter uh, what volume we use, but so we selected fifty, uh, and we're going to use a I'm going to use the 0 0.061 from my previous uh, results for this for doing um, these calculations. Again, I'm taking advantage of that one mole of sodium hydroxide neutralizes one mole of acetic acid. Therefore, if we know the moles of sodium hydroxide, we can figure out the moles of acetic acid. And if you know the moles of acetic acid, you can figure out the grams of acetic acid. Okay, so we set up the experiment, and uh, and again, uh, we added the uh, you added the sodium hydroxide to the vinegar, and I'm using my value here until it turned pink. Okay, so uh, in my example, I started off 0 0.5 mils, uh, and like yours, I added the NaOH, and it didn't turn pink, and uh, so I used up. I went to 50 mils, but it didn't turn pink, okay? So what I had to do is I had to restock the barrette, okay? And in my example here, I I made the initial volume at 0.2 mils, and it turned pink, and it should be pink, not pink, uh, after I added 20 mil, 20.51 mils of this, 
Okay, so the total amount of volume is going to be this value subtract this, this value subtract this, and add them together. Okay, so to use to find the total volume of the 0.061 molar NOH added, you subtract first addition, um, the final, subtract the initial, and then second addition, final minus in initial, and you add the two together, get 69.81, which is 0 0.06981 liters. So this is how many liters of this I used. Okay. All right. Now I want to do is given this information here and this information here, I can figure out the moles of NaOH. And if I know the moles of NaOH, I know the moles of acetic acid. Okay, so the moles of NaOH, so moles is going to equal to molarity times volume. And we, we I showed you that on a couple of slides ago. And then that's because molarity is moles per liter, and volume is liters. They cancel out and end up with moles. Okay, so moles equals molarity times volume. We have the molarity and we have the volume. And so we can figure out the moles of sodium hydroxide. So here's the molarity, 0 0.061. Okay, and, and again, this is my experiment. Okay, and this is the liters of sodium hydroxide I added. So the moles of sodium hydroxide are 0 0.00426 moles per liter. I mean moles, not per liter. Since one mole sodium hydroxide neutralizes one mole of acetic acid, I therefore have this many moles of acetic acid. Okay, now I want to find the amount of grams of acetic acid. All right, and so I, uh, the molar mass is 60.05 uh, grams per mole. And you can look that up or you can figure it out. Uh, remember, grams is going to be moles times molar mass. Okay. So we get 0.256 grams acetic acid. Okay, so that's how much of acetic acid is in 5 grams of vinegar. So what is the percent? You just take this value here, 0.256 grams, divided by the total um, solution, 5 grams, and you get 5.1. Okay, now uh, turns out, that if you look at the side of the vinegar bottle, it says that it's 5% uh, acetic acid. So uh, at least in my fake scenario, it's really good. Uh, I think hopefully, and I'm pretty sure your, your experiment will get its very similar answer. Now, now everybody's going to have the same answer. Um, so, uh, so maybe you can check to see how you guys are doing. So in, uh, so in the next uh, next slide, I'll show you the table that you're going to have to uh, send to me. Okay, so now this is a table using my example. Uh, so we have it. So we have initial volume, final volume, and then the total total amount. Uh, then uh, do we want to change this value to liters. Uh, then we can figure out the amount of moles from this, from this, and this, okay? And then if we know this, we know this, and then we can figure out the amount of grams using the molar mass. All right, um, so uh, for, so it's, it's a little more complicated because there, there was actually two volumes that you added. So the way I have set up here is my first sample I'll call 1A. I started out with 0.5 mils at the top of my barrette, and I went down to 50. So I added 49.5 mils, which is 0 0.0495 liters, but it hasn't turned pink yet. Okay, so I don't know this information. All right, um, then I filled it back up to the top, where it's 0.2 mils initial. And then I added 20, uh, to added the sodium hydroxide until it turned pink, and that value was 20.51. And that total was 20.31, or 0.0231 liters. 
So what we have to do is add these two, add these values up, these values up to come up with this value here. So I add the 49.5 with the 20.31, and we get 69.81 mils. Uh, divide by 1,000, they get this, okay? Now take this value here, and then multiply it by this value here to get this. Okay, now once you know this, it's the same here, and then multiply it by the molar mass to get this value here. Okay, so here's your table here that you're going to have to do the experiment. So you're going to have, uh, you can fill it in the same way. You have two samples. So when you're done, you'll have uh, two sets of grams. Um, okay, two sets of grams. And then, uh, then what you do is take the average of them. Okay, so what you're going to have to do for uh, for this experiment is uh, uh, fill, in, fill in the two tables. Make sure you label the tables and get all the units and uh, and uh, the, the substances right. Uh, show your calculations for uh, molar mass uh, to figure out grams. Uh, and your calculations to figure out uh, your so show your calculations to figure out this uh, your calculations to figure out this and um, and the same thing goes with the previous one all right so you're gonna give me two tables with calculations uh, and uh, I'll let you know when they're due and also there'll be a small quiz on it okay that's all